We're officially now one week away from Election Day, and the watchword on both sides of the aisle is tightening. Is the presidential race tightening? I think everybody agrees that it is, and the question is, why is that happening? What does it mean? And is it enough to change the outcome? Um, I think it's tightening, and a lot of people are thinking it's tightening only because of the revelation on Friday by FBI Director James Comey that he's having a new look at some newly discovered Hillary Clinton emails, and that, that represents a big problem for her. And it may be that that uh, revelation creates some doubts about Hillary Clinton uh, that knock a couple of points off of her lead. That's possible. But I also think this race was destined to tighten anyway for a variety of reasons. First of all, Republicans were starting to come home to Donald Trump a little bit more, even before the FBI director's letter to Congress saying he had a new email issue to deal with. Secondly, there are a lot of undecided voters who look this year more Republican than Democrat. In our polling with the Wall Street Journal and NBC News poll, we've tried to examine who the undecided voters are, and they tend to be people who look more like Republicans than Democrats, who want Congress to be controlled by Republicans rather than Democrats. And so if they get off the undecided fence and move one way or the other, they seem more likely to move to Donald Trump than Hillary Clinton. And I think that's a factor you're seeing come into play as well. And thirdly, the support for the third party candidates, Gary Johnson and Jill Stein, the Libertarian and Green Party candidates, is slipping a little bit. And particularly with the Gary Johnson Libertarian vote, those people, if they move away from a third party candidate toward one of the main candidates, they seem more likely to move to Donald Trump than Hillary Clinton. Now, as I said, I, the email revelations and the, the new controversy surrounding that may push some of those undecided voters and some of those Gary Johnson voters toward Donald Trump. Maybe they're heading there anyway. But I think the bottom line is everybody expects this to be a tighter race by the time we get to next Tuesday. Is that enough to overcome what had been a pretty big Hillary Clinton lead just a few weeks ago? Hard to say for sure, but I do think in the end we're going to end up with a presidential election that figures to be a little closer than some people thought just a few weeks ago.